am Tara, the author of the Dining on a Dime cookbook, along with my mom, who is also the author of the Dining on a Dime cookbook, where you can eat better, spend less. We have real food for real families, and today we are talking about the controversial subject of <laughs> butter versus margarine versus shortening. <laughs> we haven't talked about anything like this since we were talking about breastfeeding and bottle feeding. It was just <laughs> Have mercy. If we want to start some controversy on the show, just let me pull out a stick of margarine and pull out a thing of shortening and oh my goodness. Oh goodness. Yeah. I it's know. crazy. So anyway, go ahead, mom. You, oh, thanks. you take the reins and then I'll I'll <laughs> thanks, I get to start this one Okay. This is one controversy though that has been around since it started. Decades, 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 yeah. you know, forever. And uh I, I think that's why I find it so amusing because what it was like the 19, I think you were about 10 years old. So that would be like 1982, something like that. I mean, you talk a big about a big controversy. It's the same type of thing. Every time you pull a stick out, somebody would, oh, what are you doing to your children feeding them that? Oh, what kind of a mother are you? Don't you know what that's doing to your body? Except in 1982, if you fed them butter. They were saying that to you. Margarine was the choice. If you were eating butter, you were like the worst mother in the whole world if you were feeding that yes, to your family. Yes, but we're so much wiser now. So, but this is so, I know, but this is what's so <laughs> ironic is I have now lived, I hate to say it, but I have lived long enough that I've watched these things come and go and come. I mean, two yeah. or three times they keep mm -hmm. switching back and forth. So me, I just keep eating it all. Yeah. Just. That's my motto. Just keep eating it all and keeping it eating yeah. it all in moderation. Because if it's going to kill me, if I eat just a little bit, it might not kill me too, too soon. If it's going to be good for me, well, it'll keep me a little bit healthy. You know, that's just the way I do it. And that's not what you want to hear, is it, Tar? But you have got to be careful. We now have where we didn't have in 1982. It was bad then. I mean, I thought it was never yeah. going to go away. But now it's even worse because we have this thing called the Internet. <laughs> And it can destroy people's lives, not just butter and margarine. People can, somebody gets mad at you and they can sling something out there that's not really true. I and know. somebody will read it and they take it for true. Mm -hmm. And it's really, you have got, to, so this isn't so much about butter and margarine. You've got to be careful what you read on the internet. Mm -hmm. Because I researched this stuff. I heard of a woman not too long ago and she said, she was doing a thesis for college or the university mm -hmm. or whatever. And she said, the hardest part of doing this thesis, it was a controversial subject. She said, I had to clear my mind mm -hmm. of what I believed and I thought was right and go in. Yeah. I had to write both sides and I had to be open-minded and really, you know, mm -hmm. see what, what the difference was and be yeah. honest about it and yeah. not go in there prejudiced towards what she was going to write and read. And um, that's what I want to ask you guys to do. Don't just read one thing or even two things that shows your side that you like, that you want to believe. Don't go find that on the internet and say, well, see, look at these say that I'm right in this. You, if you're going to really get the truth, you need to study both sides, whether you, the ones that disagree with you and the ones that agree with you, study them equally and and have an open mind in doing it. Mm -hmm. Don't pick, you know, or that yeah. type of thing. I have researched this and researched this. And bottom line is margarine is just like vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. If you're using vegetable oil in one thing, it's the same as yeah. using margarine. And despite what everybody says, that stupid thing going around Facebook and the internet, margarine is not one molecule away from plastic, margarine did not no. be invented to fatten up turkeys. You guys, no. that is ridiculous. Stop believing everything you read on the internet. And what's so hilarious is I found, mom found, a, a article on margarine and the truth about margarine. And so I went and put it on our Facebook page on <laughs> <laughs> living on a dime just to see what would happen. Oh my word. This one one was like, I won't eat that because it's one step away from one molecule away from plastic. Yeah. I was like, you didn't even read the article. <laughs> Hello? You are exactly what we're
we're talking about. That person yeah. is exactly what we're talking about. Now, there is a difference in the taste between margarine and butter. And it's perfectly fine if you just prefer the, the taste, taste of butter. Yeah. It's totally fine. And see, that's but what I... Oh, go ahead. That's I'm not sorry. what we're talking about here today. No. Yeah. And it's funny you said that about, she read that about it's one thing from, because when I was researching, it caught me. I started reading, I thought, oh, margins, you know, plastic, and it's almost paint, and then this, and I'm reading, I think, oh my goodness. Well, it took me going all the way through before I realized the guy had put the negative article on there so that he could take and mm -hmm. show how wrong it was. Mm -hmm. So my first instinct was, oh, this is just horrible. But when I kept reading mm -hmm. all the way down, yeah. the truth came out, what yeah. the reality was. And how there are even people that say, Harvard Medical School says thus and such. You can go on there and write that. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't say that. Yeah, they, You can say that for anything. You can say, I could call myself Dr. Jill. Mm -hmm. I'm Dr. Jill, and you need to take thus and thus yeah. medicine. And people would believe me. Yeah. So be, be careful yeah. on this. But as far as the taste goes, I have always been half and half, margarine and butter. I do not like the taste of margarine. Um, so what I would do is I use, mar I, and I use equal amounts, margarine and butter. I use margarine in my cooking because it's better to use margarine in your cooking. Mm -hmm. It takes, like if you make a grilled cheese sandwich and you put butter on it, that's going to burn faster butter burns at a you know a faster than what margarine does where i use the margarine on my grilled cheese sandwich so it won't burn mm -hmm. um butter if you have baking if you cover something in butter and put it in the oven and it's on the outside it'll burn the outside right away uh, if you bake a pie you'll see if the butter pops up through the little holes those holes will get burnt well i use margarine in my pie yeah to put on top so, but I don't like the taste of butter. So if I have toast, I'm going to put butter on my toast. If I have mashed potatoes, I'm going to put butter on my mashed potatoes. I don't even use either one sometimes. Mm -hmm. Because when I was younger, I got so used, I'd go to somebody's house, because that was back when margarine was used by everybody. It was less expensive, yeah. it was too money, and butter was horrible for you. But my mom used butter for our toast and stuff. Mm -hmm. She used both. So I'd go to their house, and they they would put butter on the toast, or margarine on the toast, and it tasted nasty. So I just got to where I didn't even eat it. I put jelly on it. Yeah. And I couldn't tell any difference. On my pancake, I don't put butter on my pancakes because I use Mrs. Butterworth, and I don't need the extra yeah. butter. But, yes, yeah. for taste, you can use yeah. the different ones. And if you guys want the soft butter or margarine, page 419, oh, Dining on a Dime, page 419, we mm -hmm. show you how to make the soft tub margarine and butter. But I'll tell you... I was, I, now I see it as a huge blessing. I mean, not that I didn't before, but when I was born, I had 11 grandparents when I was born. I had seven grandmas, 11 grandparents when I was born. And let me tell you, all but one did not die until they were in their 90s or older. They, some are still alive. I still have two grandparents still alive, mom's parents in their 90s. Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm sorry, you are not going to convince me that after watching my grandparents and my great-grandparents sit at the table using their tub of, tub of margarine that they loved, my grandma and my great-grandma on my dad's side loved their tub of margarine. Yeah, they did. They were 70, they yeah, <laughs> probably 75, 80 years they ate their tub of margarine. Mm -hmm. They were in great health. I'm sorry. Out of 11 grandparents, that's a statistically enough for me. It, I, it does not cause, there's nothing showing it causes cancer. There's nothing showing that it's this heart problems and all this. A lot of this stuff is, one, it's genetic, and it's two, from people just eating too much food. Much of anything. Stop and there, eating so much. There's less saturated fats in margarine than there is in, isn't saturated the uh, ones? Yeah. Yeah. There's less of those in margarine. Is That's there? why back in the know. 80s they were hollering about mar or butter being so bad for you because there's way more saturated fats in butter than margarine. And also coconut oil is the yeah. same way with butter. There's more saturated fats. And people are getting these things. 
when I say we study this, we I research yeah. this. Even yeah. Tara, I don't think, realizes how much I study this. So don't just read one or two things. Yeah horrified and then say and oh geez. here's the thing it's totally fine once again if you just prefer the taste of butter over margarine <laughs> we're fine with that we're going to do another video after this on baking with butter margarine or shortening but here's the thing guys stop spreading lies mm -hmm. that margarine is one step away from um being paint margarine is one molecule away from being plastic Margarine is going to kill you for this. It's going to kill you for that. It is not true. Here is what matters. If you are in debt up to your eyeballs, if you owe money on your house, you owe money on your car, you owe money for school, you owe money on your credit cards, mm -hmm. at least in your baking, use margarine in your baking to help save money yeah. on your grocery bills. You don't have, I'll be perfectly frank, you don't have the choice to be picky about things like these when you're in debt. I'm sorry, it's the truth. If you don't like it, go away. But yeah, you can find yourself more stress and you're yeah. going to die sooner from the debt, yeah. stress from the debt than you are from yeah. eating margarine. And I, it really frustrates me when people get so upset over margarine, mm -hmm. but they have $100,000 in debt mm -hmm. and they're worrying about margarine and I'm like, seriously, stop worrying about the margin. And start worrying about this debt hanging over your head. Yeah. It's it, ridiculous. It's like we've made food into a god. And if you don't think that's true, they call people foodies now. It's like yeah. a religion. And Maybe. that's what's happening. And you've got to be careful yeah. that don't be obsessing about these things. Yeah. That it's so. crazy. So... If you want some recipes that use margarine to help you save money. <laughs> <laughs> and butter. <laughs> Please or. check out our Dining on a Dime cookbook. For those of you wondering about cooking with margarine, the next video is going to be on cooking with margarine and butter, that kind of thing. But please check out our Dining on a Dime cookbook where you can eat better, spend less. We have real food for real families and real savings on your groceries. Please check it out in the link in the description below. Please like, so subscribe, and share, and we will see you guys next time.